Welcome to a short recording from Compass Tools where we'll show you how to turn on a real-time correction like SPAS inside a Terraflex when using the R1 GNSS receiver. I'm going to use the Samsung Galaxy S3 for this but the workflow should be similar on other devices. I'm using a product called MobyZen to show you the screen of my Samsung and I'll show you, we'll jump over to the map and I'm using the R1 GNSS receiver but I was expecting uh, sub meter accuracy instead I'm getting 12 feet accuracy so we'll go back to the settings and see that we don't have a real time correction and I hit the drop down and I don't have the option to turn on a real time correction so I'm using the R1 submeter receiver, but because I don't have a real-time correction, I'm not getting good accuracy. So what I need to do is log into my Terraflex account. And that's trimbleinsphere.com. Click login. and we'll go ahead and launch Terraflex and you want to click on your organization so here's your username this is your organization and there's a tab here for real-time configurations we'll build a uh, new one called SBAS for R1 the name doesn't matter um, and then here's where you pick. We're going to use SBAS for this video, but if you're inside a VRS network, you could dial up a VRS network here, or uh, you can take advantage of the RTX real time subscriptions from Trimble. But we'll use SBAS. And the last thing we need to do is link it to our project. So I was using a project called R1 Training. If you want to sign it to a bunch of projects, you can. And that's it. We'll jump back over to the Samsung. Back on the Samsung, we'll go back from the settings and we just need to do a quick synchronization. Go back to the settings and click sync. Green bar is good. So now we'll go back to settings and under real-time configuration we now have that SBAS for R1 now we'll go back to the map and we'll give it a second to acquire SBAS and we'll watch the accuracy come down it usually takes less than a minute for SBAS to kick in and you can see um, at 22 inches which is uh, much less than submeter so I'm happy we can even go back to the settings and location status and see that the real-time correction is in use and that's it for this short recording if you uh, need more help visit blog.compasstoolsinc.com you can email us at support at compasstoolsinc.com or visit our website.